Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple. You guys have asked me for a little bit of a tour of my pantry and for more videos on the food that I eat. And so here you go. Here's what I've got in my pantry today. So I'll give you the sort of panoramic view of it here. So the biggest component of my diet for protein is beans and legumes. They have tons of protein. So these are actually, some of these are mislabeled, but basically this is a red lentil, this is a yellow lentil, here's some rice, these are black eyed peas, and this is a red lentil. I always have a wide selection of beans on hand and I like to mix and match and choose which one looks good in the moment. This is another type of, um, I think this is garam dal. Um, I haven't actually tried this before, but I think it's related to the chickpea. Um, and then I've got uh, kidney beans as well, a number of different types of nuts and seeds, and lots and lots of spices. I love cooking Indian-inspired dishes. So um, some of the keys in Indian-inspired dishes are cumin and coriander. I use those all the time. I'm always buying them at the Indian um, grocery store. And I also like to mix in a ton of turmeric. I go through a lot of that and mustard seeds almost always go in, and then cumin seed is huge. I use these little paint pens to write on my um, different containers for my food. These are just um, some, uh, oh, I got these when I bought a yogurt maker a long time ago, and I stopped making yogurt, but I really liked these little um, yogurt holders, and I use them for spices. So the paint pens are great. You can buy them for like a dollar at Michael's and they go on there and they look really nice and then they just come off super easy with rubbing alcohol. It's really easy to just, that way when you switch things up, it's not permanent and I think it looks really nice. So I have a bunch of different types of spices. The ones I use the most are mustard seeds, cumin seeds, coriander, and cumin. Um, and then I also, over here, this is like super messy, but I also have like an Indian somewhere in here, this. This is called Hing Asofoiteta powder. Um, we're gonna do a whole renovation of our kitchens. This is like hopefully not the ultimate state that it will stay in, but I have a bunch more spices and things like that up here that I use a lot less, to be frank. I generally use the things in here to supplement what's out here. This is really the heart of it all. So this is my pantry, guys. I also have this, which I love. I like just put like little coat. Um, these are actually from a, a picture hanging um, kit that I got at like Walmart. And I just put my different size cup measurements here and then use the paint pens on the back of these to label it. This makes it super easy to measure things when I'm on the go. So that's it. That's my little pantry. Hope you like it. I'm going to show you what I'm cooking. So this week I am again preparing all my food for the week. I love doing this. It's kind of a concentrated dose of insanity to give me a ton of sanity throughout the week. And so I'm doing my go-to, which is a big bean dish, um, salad, and then instead of the vegetables, then adding more vegetables to the salad, this week I want to make some sort of sauerkraut and kimchi fermented stuff um, to I think I just have been really missing fermented foods and I'm looking forward to making some. So uh, over here, I've got all the stuff that's gonna go in my beans. Uh, this week, I've mixed up red lentils and also green lentils. This is actually gonna make a ton. It's probably gonna serve me for two weeks. And I'm really trying to get more mushrooms in my diet due to all of their anti-cancer properties. So I've got two different types of mushrooms here. And this is gonna be my sort of starchier, um, grain substitute to give me some some carbs when I eat the beans. So this is um, just a butternut squash. And I'm also trying to get more broccoli and cruciferous vegetables in my diet because of their anti-cancer properties. So this is going to go in the beans as well as this baby kale mix. Over here I have the fixings for my salads. So I actually t buy, you know, fresh cut um, pre-washed salads and things like this, but then when I'm done with those, I fill them with soil. I don't know if you can see that. I fill them with soil and then I sprinkle seeds of greens, like lettuce seeds, in those, set them outside and keep them watered so that I can regrow. So I'm just gonna cut right here and then this is gonna grow back for me, providing me a ton more lettuce throughout the coming weeks and months. 
This is a uh, sort of assortment of fruits and veggies that are gonna go in my salad. And this is the stuff that I'm gonna use to make some kimchi and sauerkraut for the week ahead. So that's it, you guys. That's what's cooking. That's what's in the pantry this week. If you like this video, if you want more detailed recipes or more information about what I'm eating and how I'm cooking, comment down below. Guys, if you haven't, please hit subscribe or give us a thumbs up and let you know that if you enjoyed these videos or if you have other feedback for us. Otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend and thanks for watching.